In 2023, something unimaginable happened. Voyager 1, the legendary spacecraft that had traveled farther than any human-made object in history, suddenly fell silent. It sent back only a garbled stream of binary data, leaving the world wondering. Had we lost it forever? The cause? A catastrophic memory failure in Voyager 1's flight data system. If the issue couldn't be fixed, communication would be lost. Permanently. But in an incredible twist of fate, scientists made a daring decision. A decision that would either lead to triumph or failure. They reallocated code to other sections of the spacecraft's memory. The catch? Each signal took a mind-boggling 22.5 hours to reach Voyager, and 22.5 more hours for the response to return. Every attempt was a risky leap into the unknown. Until finally, two days later, the unthinkable happened. Voyager 1 re-established contact. The spacecraft seemingly lost forever was back, and what it had to share was even more astonishing than anyone could have predicted. But what extraordinary secrets did Voyager 1 and 2 uncover at the boundary of the solar system? Why did the data from these probes turn everything we thought we knew about space upside down? And what mysterious signal did Voyager 1 send back after months of eerie silence? It all began in the late 1970s, during a once-in-a-lifetime planetary alignment, an event that only happens once every 175 years. The gas giants lined up on one side of the solar system, offering scientists a once-in-an-era opportunity to study them in a single mission. In response, NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2. Voyager 1 fast and bold shot past the gas giants, capturing the first ever images of distant planets. And the discoveries came fast and furious. In 1979, Voyager 1 reached Jupiter and uncovered its hidden rings, discovered new moons, and revealed mind-bending facts about its moons. Ganymede was the largest in the solar system, not Titan. Europa, its icy surface hinted at the incredible possibility of a subsurface ocean sparking a scientific revolution. Then came Saturn. Voyager 1's close flyby revealed its rings complex, stunning and intricately structured. It discovered moons like Mimas, with a crater so large it resembled the Death Star. But the biggest mystery, Titan. With an atmosphere thicker than any planet's, Titan became a world of its own, hiding its surface behind a thick veil. As Voyager 1 raced toward the edge of the solar system, it entered a phase that would change everything. The probes, no longer limited to just studying planets, had their sights set on something even more ambitious. In 2012, Voyager 1 made history again, entering interstellar space, a place no spacecraft had ever been before. The boundary of our solar system, the heliopause, had been crossed. What it discovered out there was shocking. Contrary to what scientists expected, the solar wind didn't fade as it moved away from the sun. Instead, it hit a sharp boundary, the heliopause, where the influence of the sun abruptly ends and interstellar space begins. But what was more mind-blowing was what happened next. The solar wind didn't just stop it, change direction, creating a physical boundary between two very different environments. Beyond the solar system, Voyager encountered denser, colder interstellar plasma, and the two forms of plasma interacted in ways that defied our understanding. Even more mysterious, the temperature and density of the solar wind near the heliopause were ten times lower than predicted. Where did that energy go? The answer remains a puzzle that continues to baffle experts. But that wasn't all. Shock waves from the sun were found to be traveling beyond the heliopause, creating disturbances similar to those caused by supernovae. The sun's reach extended far beyond what we ever imagined. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on Voyager's trailblazing journey through the cosmos.